Okay, welcome to PB Tech. I'm Prince, and today I'm gonna show you how to install DSTV as right product. So, this tutorial will cover up anything you need to know about DSTV installation, starting from how to assemble a DSTV satellite dish, how to mount it on any surface, and then track for your signal, how to run for the installation on the spray decoder, and then finally how to activate it to enjoy your channels. So make sure that you watch this video to the end. All right, keep watching. Okay, so to assemble your DSTV dish, you don't need the name of the part to do anything. If you are to install any DSTV for your customer, no one will be asking you the name of the part. So learn how to assemble it and then you are good to go. So any LMB bar, this is an LMB bar. There is one side with only one hole and there is another side with either three or more holes. So where there is only one hole, that's where you need to fix your LMB. So any satellite dish where there is one hole on the bar like this, that's where you need to fix your LMB. And the other side with plenty holes, that's where we'll go at the back of your reflector, your dish. Okay. So here we pick up this metal. You don't need the names. Pick up this one. There is some arrow over here. Make sure that the arrow faces top. Whenever you are facing this here. Make sure that the roof is top. So it will be like this. The roof has to face top. Okay. So there are two holes over here. So you need to fix it. Okay, and then you join this one. Okay. And with this one, there is some bend metal over here. Make sure that that metal also faces top. You got that metal will block. We hold the pole to stand firm. So it will be like this. So this small bend metal over here will block the dish from falling from the pool. Okay. So make sure that all the time here faces top. You don't have to be like this. You don't have to be like this. You have to turn it. Okay. Okay. So we pick up this boat. We have two long boats in accessories. This one here. And another one here. It up, not too hard. So, with assembling a DSTV dish, you need 14 and 10 spanner to assemble it. 
okay and then pick up this one and then we place it here look for this long boat like one inch boat from the accessories and we fix it over here Okay, you need to tighten it with your tennis spanner. Okay, after that. Put it over here. This will I will tie it with your 10 boots and not. Okay. So it will be from, from the front to back, not from back to the front. It won't be like this. It will be from front to back. And then that for the LMB holder. So you think this one here, which will hold the LMB. from the front to back, not from back to front. Okay. in your LMB. Assemble this, you need to strip your coarse cable and then have to 
Je peux encore est-ce que bon. Don't have to be too too long. Cut it short a bit. And you tip it. That's how I need to lay your cable. And I have a rubber tape on. I have this tape. You can use it to lay your cable. And then you come down, tighten another one here. So you keep watching. So, to fix your pool on concrete, you need a concrete relay machine. Okay. So you insert in your drill. The drill bit. This is a rotary hammer drill. You can use an ordinary metal drill to drill concrete, but if it's a hard concrete, it will never go through. Okay. So here yeah, you can shift it to metal and then rotate it to hammer as well. Okay. Measure the length of the boat. If you have marker, you can choose to use this gauge over here. I prefer marking it. on it and then you mark it okay and then the next thing you need to do is mark the space you need to drill you pick up your pole and then you place it on the wall where you need to drill 
Then you mark inside. To indicate where you need to grab. Okay. Okay, so after drilling, you need to insert your rubber. Okay, I've already inserted some rubber there. So fix the rubber inside. Make sure that you go inside the wall. Okay. So after that, then you place your pull on it to tighten it up. Okay. All right. Okay. So to fix your this bar, the DSTV bar on any wood. You don't have to turn it like this. For this side to face down, have to hang on like this. To be something like this. Okay. Now that I need to bend the nails, in case if you are to remove it, it will be easier for you. And when you are placing the bar, make sure that the bar is straight. Whenever you bend the nails, if you are to remove it, it's very simple. Just like this, then you are done. Okay. Okay. So to track for DSTV signal or any satellite signal, you first have to find where you can get the satellite that you are tracking for. So with DSTV, you can get it on the east, on the northeast. So if you're having a compass, it's very simple for you to locate the northeast of your standing point. Standing. This side is my northeast. Forget about the degrees. Just know the direction you need to turn your dish. Either on the east, on the west, on the south, on the north. So here, DSTV, you'll get it on the northeast, 36 degrees. So knowing where your northeast is, you'll get your signal very fast. Okay. So you 
between your frequency and symbol rate. I always use one, two, two, four, five, two, seven, five, zero, zero, horizontal. Okay. So you set your core scale and then you key in the frequency and symbol rate. Okay. So I already have a stable DST signal, but I want to show you how to track for it. Okay. So when tracking for any satellite signal, you don't need to turn the dish with speed. You have to slow it down. So after knowing where you need to turn your dish to get your signal, Turn your dish to feel that direction and then you start panning. So it will be like this. You don't have to pan it with speed. Like this. You go this side, you don't get it. And you push it to another side very small. And then you go up. You go to another side. If you don't get it, you go up, you go down. And then you can use this, this try to you to get it as well. You come top like this, you go sideways, and you come here, and you bring it down. You don't have to move it fast. You go here, come to the other side. So after knowing the direction you need to turn to get your signal, it will be very simple for you to get a signal. So. Any setter that you are tracking for, forget about the degrees. Get to know the direction you need to turn to get your signal. Okay. Okay. So you pan it slowly, 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 so you get your signal. Okay. So after having a stable DSTV signal, you need to tighten your dish up. Make sure that you have a stable DSTV signal. Above 60%. Okay. So I have a stable DSTV signal. 61%. Okay. So now we can move on with the installation. With the Aspra installation, you need to use a smart LMB to install it. So after getting your signal, then you replace it with a smart LMB. Or you can use the smart LMB and then if you are using a satellite finder, you use the universal port to track for the signal. So you use the universal port over here to track for the signal if you are using a satellite finder. Okay. So after getting a stable DSTV signal, you need to connect your cables to the spray decoder. Okay. You have to connect your QoS cable from your satellite dish at the unique cable port. Okay. Okay, so if you are to connect it to AV port of any flash screen television or an old TV set, you need to use this cable. Yeah, you insert it here. Yellow for yellow. Yellow is the video, so yellow for yellow and then white for white. Red for red. And if you are to use an ADMI for your flash screen television, and with the ADMI you get quality pictures as compared to the AV cable. So if you are using a flash screen television, you need to use an ADMI cable. Okay. So you connect it over here. And then you connect your adapter to power your decoder. Okay. Alright. 
Okay. So whenever you power your DSTV decoder, this is what will appear on it. The language page, which is the first page that will appear. So you select your language. If you are good with Portuguese, no problem. So we move on with English. Let's look on your remote. Okay, so the second page is the satellite page. And with the satellites, if you are living in this listed countries over here, Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia and Zimbabwe, you need to select this satellite, IS20, and then move ahead with the same step that we'll be using. But if you are not living in these listed countries, if you cannot find your country name in this list, you need to change the satellite name to E36B. That's for the rest of Africa. So if you are living in Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana, and other African countries, you need to select E36B and then move on. So you come here, the next page, move down to manual setup. Okay. So with the LMB type, LMB type, any extra decoder, you need to choose Unicable TM slash SAS CR because you cannot install any universal LMB with a spray decoder. So you need to select this LMB type, Unicable LMB. Okay. So you don't have to change it. And the user band frequencies have to be default. I have to leave it as it is. You don't need to change anything over here. So you come down to scan option. And on the on your right side of the page, the status signal status will fill up. If you reach here and your signal status has not fill up, meaning you are not having enough signal, or you can check your QS cable, maybe you have not fixed it well. So you come here and then you put it on scan. You press OK to scan. Okay. Okay. So after scanning your DSTV decoder, you need to upgrade before you can activate. If you skip the upgrading process, it will not activate. You cannot activate it. So after scanning any new DSTV decoder, a pop-up message will appear here suggesting for an upgrade so you don't have to skip you have to press ok on the upgrade now to upgrade your decoder and the upgrading will take 17 minutes so you don't have to off the decoder when the decoder is upgraded and after upgrading bst will request for your iuc number and the serial number of your decoder for them to complete the activation okay so you will find this iuc number at the back of your at the back of any DSTV decoder, they used to place some stickers either on top or at the back of it. Okay, so you submit this figures to them, and then they will ask for your location and your mobile number to complete the activation. And whenever you are calling them, make sure that you have enough airtime. It's not free calling DSTV office for the activation. So to get your contact number. You pick up your remote, you go to DST menu, and then you look for help. Okay, help. Come to contact us over here, and you will find every details about DSTV. So you can use the call centers, and then you have South African number. Every country can have your own number over there. We have Angola, Botswana. So you can find your country number over there. Okay. So if you are new here, you do want to subscribe and then hit the bell icon. Alright. Bless up.